I have a customer today who's a widow and her three pets really did a number to her carpet. She can't afford to replace it. And so we've got some major odor and pet damage that we're gonna fix today. The odor from the pet urine is mainly concentrated right here in this hallway. If you look, you can see all the discoloration. It's pretty gross. I mean, the smell was pretty bad. She doesn't have residual carpet, so we're gonna have to use this closet as donor material. And this was the type of job where I had worked with this lady and asked her to consider just replacing the carpet. But down on her luck, finances are tight. Husband passed away this last January. Uh, she just really insisted on having it repaired. So removing the old carpet pad and tack strip, gonna vacuum up all of this dust and enzymes, the salts from this urine that's dried up. Pretty gross once again. Uh, gonna disinfect it, scrub that clean, and then we're gonna put a barrier of a latex paint. I use Kills Paint from Home Depot, and I use the Max, and that is gonna seal this subfloor to make sure no odor is coming back up so those cats won't be attracted after the repair. So I've got all this old carpet and pad here from the job. I'm gonna go match it at my favorite carpet store. Yeah, I just got here at Off Price Carpet Outlet. I'm gonna check in with Ken and the gang. All right, now it's time to dump the garbage and find a good match for the closet. Yeah. Let's take our piece and see if we got a good match here. This one's looking pretty close. We've got more of a rose tint here on the spare carpet. Never get a perfect match, but this will look good in the closet. Here we've got some remnant rolls that are cut off. Just like that, we're good to go. I'll set. Using the old carpet as a template, cut out this new carpet and gonna seam this back in place. With the paint dry, we're ready to roll. Adding some tack strip now around the perimeter. We're gonna want about a 3 8 inch gap from the baseboard. And that pad is gonna be cut just shy of the tack strip using a pad stapler. Gonna secure it in place. And now you can see this carpet from the closet still has some stains in it. Well, I wish it was better, but this is all we have to work with. So seaming this with our induction seam iron, making sure everything's tight and gonna do some spot treatment cleaning, but I definitely recommended a great carpet cleaner in San Jose for this customer who's gonna come in afterwards and really do a number on the rest of the carpet. Uh, so stretching this back in place, gonna put it back on those tack strip pins and then cut the excess, tuck it back in nicely. Uh, we're gonna make sure everything's looking nice and clean and then really try to do a good job on those seams the best thing about this is time will mat that carpet and blend it even better than what you see here. But customer was very happy with the results. The most important task here in this repair was eliminating that odor. You just can't live in that environment. And so we've got Mater here. Mater, I don't think you did much damage. I think it was the kitty cats. So we're all done. Took care of this customer, made things better and so she can live on it much longer before having to replace and spend more money.